Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today we are going to investigate the realm of characters, but quite specifically, dynamic duos. Now when I refer to duos, I'm talking about characters who are practically inseparable, as in if they were to exist without their partner, then it would be a weak and pointless experience at best. Think things like Bert and Ernie, Keenan and Kel, hamburger and fries, that sort of inseparable nature. And it should come as no surprise that over two decades the world of One Piece has given us a wide array of duos, all of whom are iconic in their own special way. The rules for selection on this list are as follows. A duo must be a pair of characters in which you simply cannot think about one of them without the other popping into your head as well. Furthermore, the duo must be canon because consuming filler material is bad for your health. But with that out of the way, let's begin. Welcome to the top five dynamic duos in One Piece. Number five, Jeet and Abdullah. All right, let's commence proceedings with this duo of miscellaneous criminals who first made their appearance during the Dressrosa arc. They competed in the Corridor Coliseum for the coveted prize of the Mera Mera no Mi, showing off their inseparable tendencies at every possible opportunity. In fact, these two seem to have developed a tandem fighting style, generally using one of them as a distraction, while the other performs a sneak attack on their opponent, which is kind of interesting because the Corridor Coliseum was a contest where only one person from each block would proceed to the finals. So I'm not exactly sure what Jeet and Abdullah plans were, but who cares because these two ended up being defeated together as all best duos are. But they did not let that break them, and the two continued to appear together for the remainder of the arc, even once saving Luffy from a string clone of Doflamingo. In any case, there is no Jeet without Abdullah, and no Abdullah without Jeet. And as a result, these two serve as a perfect opening example of a dynamic duo. Number 4 Johnny and Yosaku now here we have an odd pair because at one point they were actually a trio of bounty hunters with a character you may have heard of by the name of Roranoa Zoro. However, at some stage in history they disbanded for well reasons. I mean, if I had to guess why that reason was, I'd say that Zoro became acutely aware of just how much of a third wheel he was and gracefully left Johnny and Yosaku to become the amazing duo they are today. I mean, as bounty hunter partners, they even share identical swords. Now that's just adorable. Sadly, this duo was actually split up at one stage in the series though, when Johnny Johnny accompanied Zoro and Usopp to pursue Nami, while Yosaku remained with Sanji and Luffy on Baratier. However, this would turn out to be a twist of good fate for the Straw Hats, as the powerful supernatural bond connecting the bros Johnny and Yosaku would eventually bring both groups back together. And just like Jeet and Abdullah, Johnny and Yosaku aptly demonstrated that a duo who fights together will either win or be defeated together. In this case, it was a defeat. It's it's always a defeat for Johnny and Yosaku, so much so that these two eventually gave up their bounty hunter profession and became fishermen together, of course. And their duotic legacy, duotic is a word I just made up, continues to this very day. Number three, Django and Full Body. Here we have what should be an odd couple of sorts, I mean Django being a former pirate and Full Body being a former dick, current marine. However, this duo would be forged by the ever powerful art of dance. Essentially, following his defeat on Syrup Village, Django entered a dance contest and won, obviously. He then proceeded to celebrate with Full Body and began a series of events that would end with Full Body performing a dance of friendship in Django's honor. Django and Full Body then went on to enlist in Hina's Marine Unit, and well, the rest became history. Django and Full Body were never seen without one another again, and even fought side by side at the Battle of Marineford, both equally failing to prevent Luffy from progressing in the conflict. But the thing that really binds these souls together is their mutual affection for their superior officer Hina. But despite their rivalry for her heart, these two remain the best of companions, often coordinating their efforts to woo Hina, who for whatever reason refutes yet tolerates their behavior. Whatever the case, Django and Full Body are an inseparable duo who will continue to dance their way through the world together. Number two, the Unluckies. Moving away from the realm of humanity, here we have a vulture and an otter. Not usually the greatest of combinations in nature, but these two are such a dynamic duo that I'd bet most of the One Piece fan base don't even know their real names. For the record, the vulture is Miss Friday and the otter is Mr. 13, but their separate identities matter not, as collectively they are the Unluckies. In fact, even their separate names are a reference to their collective existence, as they allude to the date Friday the 13th. But essentially, they are a set of agents from Baroque Works, generally used as messengers, but they also dabble in the 
art of espionage and assassination. They are a very complimentary pair with Miss Friday providing transport all over the Grand Line, as well as long range combative weapons, while Mr. 13 specializes in close quarters combat and also has a supreme artistic ability, able to draw lifelike sketches in an instant. This collection of skills makes them quite a powerful pair, but most importantly, I simply cannot picture one without the other, and that certainly does solidify their candidacy as one of the top dynamic duos in the series, but yet, I simply cannot deny number one, Dory and Broggy. These two best friends have quite a unique history as they were co-captains of the giant warrior pirates who, after a falling out, began a century-long battle for honor. As such, these two have spent the last 100 years of their lives engaging in a life or death contest on the island of Little Garden. And you'd think that may actually ruin their chances of being considered a dynamic duo, but this century-long struggle has only deepened their bond and has actually come to define them. At this point, one really cannot exist without the other. This ongoing battle is a fixture of life in the Grand Line and I don't think either one of them would really know what to do with themselves if they even won. Although very importantly, these two still greatly respect each other and consider the other their best friend. This bizarre duo has somehow managed to transcend all reason to maintain their status despite constantly engaging in an action that would result in severing it. And it is for that reason, at least in my eyes, that there is no duo more dynamic than that of Dory and Broggy. But that pretty much does it for the top five dynamic duos in One Piece. If you enjoyed this video, then feel free to like, favorite, or subscribe. And if you are in any way inclined to support this independent channel, then please feel free to check out my Patreon, Discord server, or Twitter, the links to which are in the handy description below. And finally, please do comment with your own favorite dynamic duos in the series. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.